I'm a little embarrassed. It's a p.m. hour right now, and we are heading to breakfast. Lunch-ish. We've had a big last three days, like going to sleep at 2 a.m. and waking up at 6 to do things like hang out with elephants, go zip lining, go to a cooking school. So last night we thought we wouldn't set an alarm. And we woke up at an embarrassing time. So we're going to lunch. We just published our 60th vlog. I cannot believe we've been doing this for two months. It seems like just yesterday we published our first vlog in Tokyo. I don't think we ever would have made it this far if it wasn't for all the super nice things that so many people have said to us. We are especially thankful for the people who have shared this vlog with their friends. So, we are gonna start a new thing where in each new country, one lucky person is gonna get this super cute postcard. So if you want a postcard from us, share your favorite vlog on Facebook and then comment below on this vlog to let us know that you shared. And you can get a super cute postcard for your fridge. If you think this is a really dumb idea and you're <laughs> like, who would ever want a postcard, you can also comment below and let us know that. Maybe it's we'll fun. never do it again. Round two, iced espresso. Yes. First things first, time to find some food. She forgot we were supposed to be going to get food first. That looks like a good place to find food. Starting off with something safe, the biggest egg roll I've ever seen. Not as good as the one we made yesterday, but I'll take it. Trying the fried milk ball. It's prettier than I thought a milk ball would be. Looks like something that I'm gonna like a little bit more than you. I'm just gonna take a bite of it. You're gonna love this. <laughs> Let me see it. It kind of tastes like a wet donut. Delicious. Mm. Oh man. Oh, this is good. I knew you'd like it. Very good. Alright. Always a risk trying stuff in front of the people who sell it to you. Yeah. Because if it's not good, then I feel like I have to take another bite. <laughs> One of these. Is it shrimp? Okay. Nate's feeling crazy. He's ventured out from mango sticky rice. <laughs> he walked right by the mango sticky rice to get this big shrimp patty. It's very greasy. And I taste nothing except for grease. <laughs> Girl, it kind of tastes like if you live in the U.S. and you've ever been to Captain D's, the little crunchy things that they'll give you. Oh, uh, yes, the crunchies. It I'm going to love like, this. It's just like fried batter. That didn't take long. Sticky rice after all. Yes. You never know exactly what you're gonna get when you order mango sticky rice. Not to taste it, all, it's always delicious. You never know how much you're gonna get. Sometimes you get like a tiny mango and only one half. She gave me both halves of a giant mango and it was super cheap. After our cooking class yesterday, we have a whole new appreciation for the work that goes into mango sticky rice. Also, we learned it's not real sticky rice unless it has mug beans on there. Oh, I already ate them all. Oh. <laughs> We got the mug beans. I've been out of soap for a while, so I bought some natural soap at the market. I've been using Nate's stinky soap instead of smelling good soap. That 
That is sounding like our kind of place. We hit the jackpot. Go for it. Really Go for it. <laughs> it's really good. It kind of just tastes like pad thai. <laughs> pad thai and roll form. I cannot believe that anyone in Thailand still smokes. Look at these disgusting pictures that they put on all of the tobacco products. Guy with a hole in his throat. I don't even know what that is. Maybe a black lung. Gross. Oh, this one might be the best one I've seen yet. The guy in a morgue. It's happening. It's not in a smoothie. It's not in ice cream. Grade A durian in the flesh. We kind of been avoiding trying this. We've had a lot of people ask us if we've had it. There are literally signs everywhere that say no durian, like in the subways, in hotels. It's supposed to smell like rotten feet. I had durian ice cream while we were in Singapore, but we haven't had the real thing yet. And normally they sell it in like these monstrous clusters that are expensive and why would we do that? So we've got a little bitty piece for a dollar. Woo woo! We'll do the, the smell test first. Not that bad. It's not. It's not as bad as everybody said it smelled why like rotten feet. Why is it illegal everywhere? And I've heard it tastes better than it smells. I have some ha hope for doing it. It looks super weird. All right, though. you take this piece. You eat it first. No, no, no. We have to try it at the same time. Okay. Hopefully this goes better than the stinky tofu. It looks so weird. It's like the thickest, hardest fruit I've ever... This part's soft. I wonder if that means it's rotten or ripe. <laughs> Here we go. Try and do it for the first time. Oh, I think they're wrong. I think it tastes worse than it smells. I think the oh smooshy God. part might have been rotten. I really don't like it. Uh-uh. Mine doesn't really have much flavor at all. I think I want to swallow it. I'm going to swallow it. Crows! <laughs> this piece isn't as mushy. Okay, it's not good, but like this in comparison to stinky tofu, oh gosh. there's no comparison. Like, no, I would eat this every day if it meant I never had to eat stinky tofu again. Yeah. With that said, we will not be finishing this. <laughs> Gross. In that trash bag. Like my breath smells really bad. Might not let me back into the hotel. The night bazaar was cool, the food was good, but it was nothing compared to the Sunday night market. Kinda like I was getting templed out when we were at Anchor Wat. I'm starting to get a little night market in <laughs> out. We've been to a lot. We're going up. first instead of a bug I found a seashell in my food tonight it's one of those little spirally ones that things live in <laughs> okay.